You are now watching Hoodoo TV. Welcome to Hoodoo TV. We're at Emerald City Comic Con with Justin Greenwood. Oh yeah, you've been waiting. Here I am. That's right. Got the pleasure to uh, meet you at Image Expo just recently. Yeah. And you announced that new book, The Last Siege. The Last Siege is coming this summer. I think June, actually, to be specific. Ah. And it is a beautiful book. Genuinely excited. You guys who watch the show know the type of books I kind of like. This is one of them, for sure. Cool. Thanks, man. And uh, you and Landry Q. Walker are doing this. Yep. And um, so, like, it's coming soon. And what got you to want to do this book? I mean, um, you know... I'm a sucker for a Western, and it's kind of framed like a Western. It has the sort of scope of a Western, a very finite. The first arc has a very finite beginning and ending, and I just like the idea of telling a story that is um, more focused on just a, a smaller group of characters and really tearing them apart. I mean, if I'm being honest, it's, it's a fun thing to look forward to. Awesome. And how does this compare with like some of the other books you've done, like Stumptown with Greg Rucka? Yeah, well, I mean, a lot of the stuff I work on tends to lean towards... Um, very tense, like crime books in general are very tense, and it's a lot of it's the buildup and um, the psychology of the buildup. And I think this book, while it has elements of that, really focuses more on the action. So this is a this is a project that, um, if you looked at it in terms of of a rhythm, it, the beat gets harder and harder with every issue. And by the time that arc starts to wrap, it's the beat's so hard that um, I, I can't even. I'm still imagining what this can be like to draw it, uh, but also very much looking forward to it. Right. And like we've done the uh, press conference from Image Expo, so you guys are probably going to want to check that out. And then so maybe somebody who's not familiar with your work, can you get them a little idea of what you've done in the past, how you got in the industry? Uh, I started about maybe eight or nine years ago on a book called Resurrection with Oni Press, and um, I did a lot of projects with with Oni. I did a book called Stringers. I did I worked on Wasteland for a little while, and um, most recently I did The Fuse, which is kind of when I started working freelance and really going full time. That was for Image Comics, and working on Stumptown around that time with Oni Press also. So. I don't know. When I started in comics, it's kind of the old school way of uh, taking your portfolio around, which I feel like is kind of a lost art uh, for young folks. But um, I guess I just broke in the old fashioned way, hitting shows and uh, showing my portfolio until finally uh, James at Oni had, had seen it and, and liked it and gave me a crack. And yeah. since then, I just um, I just bit down really hard and didn't let go. Who are some of the inspirations to your art? Like that's kind of you worked your art after. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, I think it kind of changes all the time, right? I think I was. When I was breaking it, somebody just recently asked, like, oh, well, um, which writer would you want to work with if right. you could pick a writer, right? right. And I started, me thinking, think, I started thinking about what it's like when you're when I was starting out, influences, and I used to read Powers a ton. Okay. So I think uh, around that time period, it was a tons of, I mean, kind of non-surprisingly, it was a lot of crime books, like right. um, 100 Bullets, Powers, and the artists who were attached to those projects and the way they used shorthand, I felt like um, probably was a pretty heavy influence, like Rizzo, even the covers like Dave Johnson on 100 Bullets. Oming, a lot of those guys who did, um, you know, they use they use black like a compositional tool mm -hmm. in a way that I think really rubbed off, and, and I, I try and, I don't know, I, find, I see it in my own work a lot. That's awesome. And that question with the writer, well, who is the writer? You oh, I think at the time with? I said Bendis. And this is okay. a tough question yeah. to answer, because uh, right. there's a lot of writers I like to work with, but that's that was one that, uh, I don't know, when you're young and you're at the beginning of your ride, mm -hmm. uh, those answers stick with you, you know? Yeah. That's awesome. And if there was a dream project, dream character that you could do? Who would that be? I don't know. I, I don't have that uh, aspiration, I guess, in terms of like a single character. Every project I jump onto, I've had the good fortune of being able to choose choose which project's next. And every time I commit to something, I get really, really excited about doing that one thing. And I really can't see anything else until I'm outside of it. Uh, so right now, it's really literally what I'm working on. Right. But um, yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, if I were doing some kind of mainstream work, I guess I would lean into the more street level I mean, on, on both sides of that fence. I, I really tend to lean towards the more street-level, relatable characters in, in every project, you know? That's great. And where can our viewers find get a hold of you? Uh, uh, you can catch me online at uh, justingreenwoodart.com, and from there you can catch all the social media and, and all the rest of them. That's awesome. We're going to put some links down below. Check the guy's stuff out. We appreciate you for being cool, here. Cool, man. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Awesome. The Last Siege, coming this summer. It's coming. Be prepared. Thanks for watching Hoodoo TV. We want to thank Justin Greenwood for coming on with us and talking about The Last Siege. If you like videos like this one, make sure you hit subscribe. Follow us on Twitter at Hoodoo TV. And also, we want to thank our friends over at Outright Geekery. Check them out for everything geeky.